हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द इंडस्ट्रियल डोर इज अ यूनिफॉर्म रेक्टेंगुलर पैनल वेविंग 1200 हंड्रेड पाउंड एंड रोल्स अलॉन्ग द फिक्स रेल डी सो वी हैव दिस फिक्स रेल डी एंड दिस डोर इंडस्ट्रियल डोर ऑन इट्स हैंगर माउंटेड व्हील्स ए एंड बी सो वी हैव दिस ए एंड बी व्हील्स the door is maintained in a vertical plane by the floor mounted guide roller c so here we have guide roller at c which bear against the bottom edge for the position shown compute the horizontal side thrust on each of the wheels a and b which must be accounted for in the design of the brackets so at a and b roller we have the thrust force right so that thrust force will act along the x direction so that thrust shown the uh, thrust is shown here in this diagram we have this ax and bx and we will have uh, az and bz um, support forces but in the problem statement we are only required to find ax and bx and it is said that at c we have the guide roller so that guide roller will apply the force in this direction so let's say that a uh, guide force is let's say represented by c and the weight of the door is 1200 pound so that weight must be acting at the geometric center of this door so the dimension of this door is 10 feet by 16 feet this is 10 plus 3 and plus 3 so this is 16 feet so this is 10 by 16 feet door and in the side view in the side view it is shown that the door is at a distance of 6 inches from this from these uh, a and b rollers right so this is 6 inches and the remaining dimensions are in feet so as we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inches so 6 inches is equal to 0.5 feet now in this diagram as you people can see that uh, i have drawn this uh, another axis x dash y dash and z dash axis and this axis is at at roller a now to find uh, ax and bx we need to apply the summation of moment about the y axis is about the y dash so the summation of moment about the y dash axis is this must be equal to 0 since the industrial door is in equilibrium so as we can see that if we are going to apply the summation of moment about the y dash axis is so ax az bx and bz they are intersecting with the y dash axis so they are not going to produce the moment about the y dash axis is so that is why i ha- i am going to find the moment about the y dash axis in order to eliminate all these unknowns so as we can see that this weight is going to produce the moment about the y dash axis since in the side view this is the side view since in the side view the y dash axis is located somewhere here y dash is somewhere here right so let me draw that y dash on this side view so y dash is somewhere here and it is acting towards the screen and the weight of the door is acting vertically downward like this so this is 1200 and let me complete this door so this door is somewhere like this so this is the door uh, i am considering this diagram right so if we complete the door so this will be our door its weight is going to act in the downward direction and that c force is going to act somewhere here this is that c force so let me show this c force in the and this side view this is that c and the y dash axis is is into the screen so only the weight and this c they are producing the moment about the y dash axis now as we can see that the weight is producing the moment about the y dash axis in this direction like this like this so it is producing the moment about the y dash axis so as we can see that if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb is pointing out in in the direction out of the screen so this means that out of the screen is in the negative y dash since into the screen is y dash so this means that the weight is producing the negative moment about the y dash so that is minus 1200 
and the perpendicular distance of the weight from the y dash axis is, is this 0.5 feet so i will multiply this with 0.5 so this is 0.5 into 12 and if we observe this weight in this 3d diagram so this 1200 weight is going to produce the moment about the y dash axis is in this direction and similarly if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in the negative y dash direction so this means that this weight is producing the negative moment about the y dash axis similarly the c is producing the moment about the y dash in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so my our thumb will point out in the y dash direction so that means that that c force is producing the positive moment so i will write, i will write c and the perpendicular distance of this c from the y dash axis is, is this this distance which is 10 feet so i will multiply this with 10 so this is equal to 0 similarly the same we can observe in the in the uh, in the side view so this is that c force and it is going to produce the moment about the y dash in this direction and if we curl our right hand finger uh, if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in towards the screen so this means that the c is producing the positive moment and its perpendicular distance from the y dash axis is, is the length uh, is the is the height of this door right so the height is 10 uh, 10 feet so now from this equation we can say that 10 c is equal to 0 0.5 into 1200 and if we divide both sides by 10 so we will get c so now from this c is c is 0 0.5 multiplied by 1200 divided by 10 so this gives us 60 so c is equal to 60 pounds so now this uh, guide roller at c is applying 60 pound force in the uh, negative x direction now to find bx uh, we have to apply the summation of moment about the z dash axis so if I apply the summation of moment about the z dash axis, so again as we can see that this az and ax they are intersecting with the z dash axis, they are not going to produce the moment about the z dash axis. So this bx is producing the moment about the z dash axis, and this c is producing the moment about the z dash axis, and the weight is parallel to the z dash axis, it's not going to produce the moment about the z dash axis. So now as we can see that this bx is producing the moment about the z dash axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb should point out in the negative z direction so this means that bx is producing the negative moment so i will write bx and the perpendicular distance of this bx from the z dash axis is, is 10 feet so i will multiply this with 10 and similarly the c is producing the moment about the z dash axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z dash direction so we will write plus c and the perpendicular distance of this c from the z dash axis is, is this 5 minus 3 so this is 2 feet so we will multiply this with 2 so this is equal to 0 and from this we can write that minus 10 bx is equal to minus 2c minus will cancel out and bx is equal to 2 into c so now c is 60 divided by 10 so this will uh, 60 divided by 10 is 6 so bx is equal to 12 pound so now bx is the the horizontal thrust force at um, at the roller which is at point b is 12 pounds now if we apply the summation of forces along x the summation of forces along the x direction that must be equals to zero so in the x direction this is in the x direction we have a x in the positive x b x in the positive x and c in the negative x so we will write a x plus b x plus c equals to zero and a x is equal to um, c is in the negative x this is minus c right this is minus c so this will be plus c minus bx so now c is 60 and bx is 12 so from this we get ax equals to 
48 pounds. So now in this problem we were only asked to find to determine the horizontal side thrust forces on each wheels at A and B. So at A the horizontal thrust force is 48 pounds and at B the horizontal thrust force is 12 pounds. Now if you were asked to find this BZ and AZ uh, so for that we need to apply the summation of moment about the x dash axis so if we apply the summation of moment about the x dash axis we will be able to find bz and then if we apply the summation of uh, the forces along the z axis so that will give us az so i will leave that to you people if you people are interested to find az and bz you people can find it and if you people find it uh, just uh, put your values in the comments so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems.